Today we're going to use objects and miscellaneous things that I found lying around my studio. So artists are very good at using their imagination in terms of what something could be used for. I mean, some people may look at a styrofoam ball uh, for a Christmas decoration, but if I put it on the end of a stick and I use one of these little plastic containers that you get out of novelty machines, suddenly I have an astronaut wearing a helmet. And so for today's project, I've assembled a bunch of stuff to make a robot. So I've got the bottom here, I've got the top here. I'll talk a little bit about some of the materials I use. These are erasers for the tops of pencils. <clears throat> and if I take my scissors and very carefully cut that out, then I've got this really cool, round, colorful disc that I can glue on top of what used to be on a milkshake. This is a plastic container that was on a carryout milkshake, and I've glued some of those on there. Um, I've used them with, these are shields. These are things that you put in the wall so that if you have to screw something into the wall, that goes in the wall first, then the screw goes into that. I have another one of these little novelty capsules that you get from machines. I have that on the head. And I've been able to put that on a spring, so he's got a little play in his head. So you can kind of see the way that I've combined all those things. I have a little brass wire. I want to make it kind of look like there's an atom that he has transformed and is kind of levitating there. So I put that on, on the wire. And over and through here, I kind of have double duty here, the top for the pens as well as the base for my robot. I've got a couple of wooden discs. These are a couple of little cap plugs. And these are just pieces of a nice heavy bristol that I rolled up and glued, and then I used metallic pencils in order to give it a shiny look to it, and then glued that on top there. So what I want to do is I've already kind of found all the, the, the used stuff, and I put it together uh, using my imagination, and I can imagine how it's going to go together. But I wanted to do something that was a little more specific in tying everything together, so I thought I would make the body of the robot out of Bristol paper and using the metallic pencils. And I cut a little hole there, because what I'm going to do is actually use this as a marble holder. I've got some marbles. I don't like the way they look in there. I think it looked much better in my robot. And then that way I could act like that's the fuel that's keeping him busy. So the first thing that I did in order to kind of finish this off, I, I got a piece of my paper. And then I measured this dimension. All right, I think that ended up being two and a half inches. So I'll mark that off two and a half inches, two and a half inches. And so I know it's this long. But how, how much to wrap around? And if I want to do some math, I find out that that's a two inch diameter. And so if you want to know the circumference, the outside part of a circle, that's uh, pi times the diameter. And pi, we're going to say is 3.14. So it's approximately six and a half inches. So if I make it a little bit longer than that, then I'll have a little extra to glue. So I can mark off my six and a half inches here, six and a half inches here, draw a straight line. And so I know this is going to be the wraparound for my robot body. And so all I did, I drew some circles. And I started to imagine things like gauges and pipes and ventilations. And I cut that window out. And so now I am ready to apply. You can use glue. You can use these glue dots. And so I'm going to complete the operation here. All right. I press on that. And so now I have the robot. And what I'll do, as I said, I want this to be my marble holder. And I like the idea that you could look through that little window and it would look like maybe this is, these are somehow powering my, my robot. There, make that even. 
I'll place that on top. Okay. And so I could be thinking about other things I could do. You know, I could take advantage of these. Maybe I could put some stripes with some, one of my pens here. Or a gel stick might be better. I mean, part of it, too, is you have to experiment and find out that works. And if this doesn't work so much, then I'll go to a, another material. But I think I've got it working OK. But you could do some other decorations. You can use some glitter glue, any number of things. I have a couple more little spare pieces. But I could start decorating the base a little bit. Or maybe I could kind of think about, you know, it's up to you to decide what you need to do and when to stop. So I could have some extra little controls over here. I might even be able to uh, use some of my marbles on top of there. So we've been able to recycle materials, and we've been able to have fun. And I now have a functional marble container. And that is your art tip for today.